The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. This is the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Now, live in studio, your host, local real estate expert, Jamie Maloney. Hi again, everybody, and thanks for tuning in here to the uh, Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. I hope everybody had a great uh, Thanksgiving break. Got a uh, full house in studio this week. Last week was uh, kind of light in studio, and uh, joining me today, uh, co-host Stella Judicelli, fellow realtor with uh, Coral Banker. How are you doing today, Stella? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm doing very good. You Thank were, you for asking. You were remarkably absent last week, but it wasn't because you were taking the week off, though, of course, correct? You Thank never... you for telling everyone. Yeah, I. Uh, you do get overwhelmed as mm-hmm. a real estate agent, and your deadlines and things to do for your clients uh, can be a priority. So, yes, I wasn't there. I'm sure the uh, list Listeners uh, missed uh, your cheery voice as well. So uh, thank the you French for accent. thank you for uh, joining us in studio today. Also back in studio, uh, John uh, Gaston uh, with uh, t- Tampa Bay Multimedia. The streamcast is back up and running. We didn't have that on air last week. John was out uh, last week with a, a surgery. But uh, as always, shows are streamed live over at the website tampabayradio.com. Just head over there and click on the uh, show info tab, and you can uh, watch us here live in studio and see all of our funny little facial expressions and innuendos that we tend to do while we're talking as well. Mm. So, Stella, what uh, did you uh, get done this weekend? Uh, you told me uh, you even worked on Thanksgiving. And yes. so did you actually enjoy uh, your Thanksgiving at all? Or was well, all- uh, and you know, I enjoy working, so it wasn't a problem for me, and it was my first uh Thanksgiving as an American. Mm -hmm. So I know that most of you guys do not work on Thanksgiving, but you are very hard workers. So I thought I'd take it uh, literally and I worked on Thanksgiving. And then after that, I ate far too much turkey. So um, just, you know, feeling I'm a a true American. Well, congratulations and uh, on being an American as always. And Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, uh, you know, for being uh, here in the studio again today. It's a pleasure to be with you, Jamie, and everyone here. Yeah, got a great show today. We'll be talking here in just a moment with uh, Ronald Weaver. He is an attorney and chairman of the Environmental and Land Use Law Department at Stearns, Weaver, Miller, Weisler, Alhadef, and Citizen PA. He'll be on talking about development here in the Tampa Bay region, a topic that I am very much interested in and talk about frequently here on the show. On the second half of the show, we're going to be talking with uh, regular contributor loan officer Kenny Gannon of iMortgage, along with uh, Laura Kennedy, who is the 2000 2015 chairperson for the Parade of Homes. You want to uh, tune in to hear all about that. And also we have Janice Snow, marketing manager for Homes by West Bay. And so you want to stay tuned to hear what they have to say as well. I want to go and bring on uh, my first guest here. Ronna Weaver is the chairman of the Environmental and Land Use Law Department in the Tampa office of the 127-member law firm of Stearns, Weaver, Miller, Weisler, Alhadef, and Citizen PA, where his practice includes land use environmental real estate acquisition and real estate finance law. Mr. Weaver received his undergrad degree from the University of North Carolina and his law degree with honors from Harvard Law School. Ronald, welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to be here, Jamie. Thank you for including me. Absolutely. Let's open up the show with a little bit more about yourself and your background. Over the years, um, and I I do appreciate you inviting me, I've been uh, selected for inclusion in the Best Lawyers of America and the Specialties of Land Use and Zoning Law and Real Estate Finance and uh, have been selected uh, as one of the top Florida land use attorneys, according to Chamber's Guide, among the legal profession, and in 1996 was inducted into the Tampa Bay Real Estate Hall of Fame. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't even know there was a Real Estate Hall of Fame. I'm hoping maybe I could get in there somehow. Is that You're just for? <laughs> is that just for attorneys, or can us uh, everyday realtors get in near there as well? Profession in or near real estate. All right, that was a hint to uh, put in a nomination for me as well. So uh, if you uh, remember that, please. <laughs> So tell us a little bit more about your specialty, uh, land use and zoning laws. Uh, Elaborate a little bit more on what this is for the audience. Basically, that's the uh, spectrum of approval processes from zoning to developments of regional impact and the hundreds of different laws, many of them environmental and many of them land use and property rights throughout the state and the federal structure. Okay, and so what was your inspiration in, first of all, getting into the law practice, and how did you end up in this field of uh, study in law? Um, back when I was a very young lawyer, I was a JAG officer at the uh, at McDill Air Force Base, and I met a, 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 a an officer named Walter Steinhardt, and he lost his retirement from the state system after he'd retired from the from the military. And I uh, helped him during one of those thirty minute sessions as a legal assistance officer, and he came back for the next cancellation the next day. And then finally, 
after about three or four of those cancellation sessions, I realized he was not going to go downtown where I was sending him to a real lawyer because I was just a brand new baby junior lawyer, but he insisted that he believed I could help him. So I tried. We wrote a letter to the uh, District Court of Appeals, and then about eight weeks later, there was a brief filed by the state, 15 pages of cases why he should lose his retirement in the state system as a former teacher. And I love the ruling by the court, which simply said the state has tried for 15 pages to, to take away Mr. Steinhardt's retirement, but for the following reason, and then he cited, then the court cited the point of law that we had raised very briefly, and I believed in this system um, all along. Mm -hmm. And you're now a partner with your law firm, correct? I am. All right. Very, uh, very nice, and, and congratulations on uh, ascending to that level within uh, your field of practice. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit more about um, some development in, in the Tampa Bay region. Your firm has four offices in Flo the Flo four Florida major metros from Tampa, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Tallahassee, and you represent business clients from startups to some of the largest multinational corporations in the world. In terms of real estate development, how is Tampa competing with these cities? Uh, lately, Miami has been taking a strong lead with respect to residential, but uh, Miami's um, explosion is not unmatched by some in Orlando and Tampa. About half as much activity can be found in, in Tampa and in Miami, and recently in Fort Myers. So the statewide picture is very good in real estate, although it has a few little spots in the nature of the recovery. Now, I noticed there's a strong, or we see a lot, that there's strong foreign investment in Miami's, uh, in the uh, hotel uh, industry. What is driving that? I mean, obviously, it's waterfront uh, properties, but how is how can Tampa get in on more of that foreign investment, in your opinion? Good question. Uh, I've noticed over the last six to ten months that some foreign investors will look at Miami, they will engage in the value proposition, and then they'll look around and say, well, what else in Florida has six or eight or nine of the ten attributes that make Miami so attractive. And quite frankly, uh, that's why I mentioned some of those markets a while ago, that sometimes you'll find that Naples and Tampa, St. Petersburg, are very quickly identified as having most of the same attributes as Miami, but at a better price point. Yeah, I mean, Tampa is definitely a much cheaper market than Miami, and I think it's a very, you know, underdeveloped area, and I'm just at a loss of why Tampa is just not at the same level as a Miami, because I, I think it has the same type of swag and appeal of the Miami market, would you not say? Oh, I think it will. It'll be a little bit like New York and Chicago. I think some international corporations over the last hundred years have chosen Chicago over New York for that very reason, and I think that some people are going to choose Tampa over Miami and Atlanta for the same reason over the next 30 years. Yeah, I was discussing the same point with a uh, person who's uh, very uh, up to speed with, with uh, development here in the Tampa Bay region, and one of the points he raised is we're lacking uh, a lot of direct flights from foreign countries into Tampa, and that's something that Miami seems to have a lot of thought of as a very relevant and valid point. So something uh, for the listeners out there, uh, uh, you, know, we, you know, we're just not getting enough direct flights uh, from international uh, buyers into our market. That could be one of the reasons we're not seeing the development from so, foreign investors. We are working on that, and I'm glad glad you mentioned that, Jamie, because quite frankly, over the last eight or ten months, we've added Edelweiss direct flights to Europe, we've added Lufthansa two weeks ago, and then Copa to Latin and South America to the Panama hub of Copa. So we've been working hard on that, and candidly, Joe Lopano and the team at the uh, Tampa International Airport have been working hard on those flights. In fact, if you get a daily flight or uh, to, to some of these countries, you're looking at hundreds of millions of dollars worth of activity that, that spring directly from the ability to, to, to engage in some of those direct flights weekly or, 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 or daily. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you see as some of the challenges legally and politically uh, that, uh, that Tampa is facing with real estate development in your everyday practice? I think number one is that interest rates uh, remain at a reasonable level is number one. Number two is the ability of the foreign investor to understand the similarities between Miami and its attraction and the place to put your money. Wherever you are in this world, you may or may not sense some kind of economic or political uncertainty, and coming to the United States is always a very, very wise, secure investment, and Tampa is, is, is continuing to ascend to a better place in that regard. Now, do you think there's a lot of restrictions to development in the Tampa Bay region? I know our mayor is very uh, uh, bullish on development in the Tampa region. Uh, what are you seeing uh, from uh, your viewpoint as a land use specialist? Quite frankly, for the last year or three, the combination of Governor Rick Scott and Bob Buckhorn have been reasonable, and they've moderated many of the laws. Some would say they've moderated them too much, but I think they may have just reached a balance. It's somewhere for Goldilocks. It's not too hot. It's not too cold 
for real estate development. It may be just about right because what has happened is that the 20 years of accumulated excesses of regulation, many of which did not achieve a particularly vital environmental purpose, have been moderated by the combination of Governor Rick Scott and Bob Buckhorn. Both of them have looked at what's really important. They still regulate those religiously, but the other details that may not be as important and may not be as consequential to the environment, those they've allowed the economy to also survive. Yeah, and uh, you've uh, put out a report here. I'm going to take a quick break here, but uh, your uh, firm is uh, very uh, up to speed in the development uh, all across uh, Florida. I'm very impressed with this uh, report that you've put out on development in these different communities. And uh, coming back from the break, we're going to talk about some of the projects that are going on in some of these uh, communities. So hang tight, and if you're just uh, tuning in, you're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. In the market for a reverse mortgage, contact Access Reverse, a local company with personalized service in the Bay Area. Call them at 727-347-0305 or visit accessreverse.com for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. They'll come to your home and speak with you about the best options for your reverse mortgage. Plus, they offer the lowest closing costs. Don't just get a reverse mortgage. Get the right reverse mortgage with Access Reverse. Visit accessreverse.com. NMLS number 4566. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage want you to experience the thrill of one-day underwriting and the comfort in knowing your loans will be clear to close in record time. While a competition looks to a lost closing date, Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage focus on their 12-day clear-to-close. They do this by utilizing their world-class operations staff to underwrite your loan within six hours, process your loan in 12 days, and have your loan closed in time. Underwritten in six hours, cleared to close in 12 days. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage. My Mortgage Tampa appreciates and supports all veterans and their families. And as a thank you for your service, they have some unique products specifically for veterans. These programs include 100% cash out loans, renovation loans, and also a VA interest rate reduction loan. Please call them today at 813-523-4908. Again, that's 813-523-4908. Or online, search for I Mortgage Tampa. I Mortgage NMA. MLS 174457. Equal housing opportunity lender. Programs and eligibility subject to programs and guidelines. You're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show with local expert Jamie Maloney. Now, here's Jamie. Hi again, everybody, and thanks for staying tuned in here to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. If you're finding my show on the air for the first time, I invite you to tune in here every Mondays at noon as my show aims to become your information source for the Tampa Bay real estate market. Off uh, air, you can find me over at my website, tampabayradio.com, where you can find all of my uh, listings as well as many of my pre-listed properties prior to hitting the market via the pre-list tabs over at tampabayradio.com. And you can also catch all the past shows and streamcasts of the Jamie Maloney uh, show just over at the uh, show info tab. Again, tampabayradio.com. We're currently talking with uh, Ron Weaver about uh, Tampa Bay development. And you, your firm, Ron, has put out a, a great report on development and what's going on here in the uh, Tampa Bay region. And let's talk a little bit about channel side. All the buzz lately has been focused on this area of Tampa. What are some of the challenges you see that, uh, that development in this area is facing? Over the last 30 years, we've seen Channel Side grow from an industrial area where there were donated theaters and donated dance studios and, and donated little art exhibits to try to get people to recognize Channel Side as so close to downtown that it really is uh, a simply natural extension of downtown. And over the last 30 years, that has succeeded beautifully, and the Channel Side retail has, uh, with a new owner, Jeff Vinnick from Strategic Property Partners, the owner of the Lightning, purchased the Tampa Marriott Waterside Hotel and Marina. He also uh, is planning a new uh, hotel uh, nearby on, on property. Therefore, that whole area of Channel Side with some new, great new construction of residential over the last couple of, of, of years has created one of the most attractive places in America. Well, ago we talked a little bit on this show about Miami versus Tampa. When someone comes to Tampa now, they're going to earn they're going to learn that even Bill Gates' company 
um, has that Cascade has taken an interest in his investment portfolio in this very property. We're now talking about the 24 acres that Jeff Finnick, the owner of the Lightning, has assembled for world-class mixed use that a lot of people in this country and throughout the world are going to view probably as a very attractive place to uh, focus uh, what they want to do in real estate in America. Yeah, and I see in your report the uh, Tampa City Council has approved his uh, proposal for a, I guess this is a new hotel, which will be near the Emily Arena. Uh, Elaborate a little bit on this. Yeah, 25 stories, 400 rooms, 170,000 square feet for meeting space, which is a fantastic addition to the Tampa Convention Center and to the Waterside Marriott Hotel, which uh, Vinix Group also bought. And he's also uh, offered um, uh, land over to the uh, uh, USF for a uh, cancer research center or uh, no, a, a medical, medical school. Medical school, medical school. I'm yeah. sorry, a yeah, medical school. So Jeff Finnick has offered an acre to the uh, medical school at the University of South Florida, which hopefully will enable the medical school to move with all of its excitement and, uh, and dynamics to that area. There's still talk of potential baseball, but there's been more talk lately about the medical school and about the fantastic combination of Vinix hotels past and future hotels uh, and, and convention space and the medical school, but I don't think anyone has ruled out uh, baseball as a possibility for Tampa downtown or West Shore or uh, two or three other locations. Yeah, all of us in Tampa would definitely love to see a baseball stadium over in that area, and I think uh, that, that, since you brought that up, I think I saw in a, a news article not too long ago where uh, the city of St. Pete is uh, opening up uh, negotiations. I, I, I'm speaking kind of off of memory here. Do you know anything about that or what I'm alluding to? They have a to? lease through 2027, and there was a legal clause in their lease that said that was a preclusion of talking to others about other locations, but there may, there may be a softening on that that you saw a couple of weeks ago. For a year or two, there had been a concern that it might be a, a legal breach to talk about other locations, but that may be softening now the last couple of, of, of weeks. Okay. So what is, uh, what's going on over in Harbor Island? What have you seen in this area in terms of real estate development? Well, Blackstone Real Estate Advisors, one of the top real estate companies in the world by far, paid $39 million for the Western Tampa Harbor Islands, 200 and 99 rooms uh, and the like, and then CCP Harbor Island, which is Convergent Management, bought the Knights Point Retail, where one, one, one would now see the Jackson's Restaurant, for about $7.5 million. So all total, what this means is that uh, Harbor Island, along with two or three different residential towers by uh, several different groups, and, and, and including Greg Mender, uh, and Phil Smith, and also the, the related property company, one of the top developers in the world, are all interested in additional residential in Harbor Island. So she is not only a vital part of downtown, in many ways she will continue to be the jewel of, of downtown as far as how downtown evolves south and how Harbor, Harbor Island continues to be one of its jewels along with Vinick just across the channel. Now, what are we seeing in uh, downtown uh, with uh, rental rates and vacancy rates? How's that uh, marketplace doing right now? Well, they, uh, there's an improvement there. there. There was a period of time for about 15 years when office was a little bit tough, but then uh, UBS uh, Realty bought Crescent Bayshore for about $111 million, which is, of course, luxury apartments. They're on the edge of downtown. And then there were a series of other transactions, including Richmond Group of Florida paid $11 million for four acres just north of the Selman Expressway, right in the heart of downtown, to build a luxury apartment community of 351 units called Aurora, A-U-R-O-R-A. And then construction on that is expected to begin soon. And then the Carter and Associates LLC has proposed building a residential tower with 23 stories on the Grant Block on North Franklin Street, just a couple of blocks north of City Hall. So Midtown is also on the rise with La Meridian, a four-star hotel, $26 million deal that's part of a lease from the city of the old federal courthouse, one of the most beautiful and historic buildings in America. Well, there's uh, definitely uh, some exciting uh, information. Now, this report that you uh, have put out, the October 2014 Tampa Bay Real Estate Market Update, is this available uh, for public distribution, or is this an internal it is, report? If you don't mind putting it on your site, yeah. is, people, folks are welcome to it. It's not proprietary. They're yeah. more than welcome to it. Yeah, I mean, it's a very uh, interesting report. I didn't even realize so much uh, the development was going on in some of these communities. You, you broke it down very well where we talked about what's going on in uh, Channel Side and Harbor Island, as well as the downtown. we, we got developments going on in West Shore all across the uh, Tampa Bay region as well, and you even get into what's going on in Orlando, Clearwater, and all around the state. Uh, any other projects uh, that we uh, you want to promote or discuss here uh, in a few well, minutes we got left? Well, an exciting uh, corporate center, one, two, and three, those that are around the International Plaza are part of a $475 million deal for Parkway Properties to acquire 22 buildings throughout the southeast, those being the jewels of that combination of properties. And... Uh, Investors Management Group is paying $24 million for the Captiva Club on, on Memorial Highway for 357 units. And um, 
High Woods Properties is going to build 176,000 square feet of campus for, uh, for the Laser Spine Institute in its Avion Park, which is right there at the edge of the entrance to the airport. And it's a, uh, it's a $56 million campus with a building that will have six stories of surgical facilities and offices expected to be completed in early 2016. So West Shore continues to be the great western jewel to all that we just talked about. And how involved are you in uh, many of these projects in your firm? I know your firm's quite large. I'm sure you've got a hand in a lot of these different developments. Uh, what's going on with that? We've been involved in uh, probably about a third of these uh, at some point in time. Very nice. Well, yeah, if you don't mind, I'm going to put this uh, report up on the uh, website, Tampa Bay Radio. It's a lot of great information uh, for the listeners out there, and uh, we'll have that up here probably by uh, midweek. If, uh, and it's uh, something I highly recommend people take a look at and uh, getting excited about the uh, development that's going on in our area. Thank you, Jamie. And, uh, Ron, real quick, uh, before I let you go off the air, uh, how can uh, people uh, uh, interested in uh, your services and your firm get in touch with you and your website and all that information? Uh, well, we appreciate you thinking of us for this show. That was very kind of you to introduce us to your audience and mm -hmm. for your audience to be kind enough to uh, give us a little of their time in the middle of the day to talk a little bit about something as exciting as Tampa real estate. Yeah. And uh, your website is uh, stearnsweaver.com, correct? It is. All right. Well, Ron, thank you very much uh, for coming on the show. It's been uh, great talking to you, and uh, we'll talk again soon. And, and, and Stella, there's no such thing as too much turkey. <laughs> okay, then I'm ready for next year. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Ron, thanks a lot, and have a great week. Thank you. All right, uh, great information there. I mean, I didn't realize, you know, until I read this report, all the different development going on in the region and something, you know, I've, I've had a number of different people on talking about different projects, but this report, which I'll get up on the uh, Tampa Bay radio uh, site uh, very well, uh, very soon here, talks about a lot of different uh, development going on here in the area, something I'm very excited about, would you not say? Yeah, it's actually very convenient to know that there is one source that uh, we can go to and find this info mm -hmm. as opposed to, um, you know, going through newspapers and so it's great that uh, he's written this report yeah, and I've, talk, I've talked with a lot of commercial brokers in the uh, you know the Tampa region and uh, specialize in the commercial market in uh, channel side downtown and they said it's a it's a it's a blossoming market it's a time to really get involved if you're an investor in the area and it specializes and wants to be downtown I've had um, uh, cups the channel side urban professional mm -hmm. society on a few times it's a, 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 a social networking group that has formed you know to promote uh, development in the uh, uh, the channel side district there's a lot happening in our district and something to be very excited about i go to a lot of different networking events i've seen the mayor out promoting these uh different uh, projects and it's something you know i'm very excited about hopefully tampa will soon be on the uh, same level as uh, a miami market which is something uh, i think a lot of us here in the tampa region would like to see so if you're uh, just tuning in here, you've been listening to the uh, Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Coming back from the break, we're going to be talking with uh, expert contributor Kenny Gannon. He is a loan officer with I Mortgage, And we're also going to be talking with uh, Laura Kennedy about the uh, Tampa Bay Parade of Homes, which is an annual uh, uh, showcase of homes in the Tampa Bay region. And also we'll be talking with uh, marketing manager for Homes by West Bay, Janice Snow. So I'll take a moment here and invite you over to my website, which is tampabayradio.com. And again, you can find all of my pre-listed properties as well as all of my uh, listings over there as well. And also you can catch all the past shows of the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show again over at tampabayradio.com. Uh, we'll be coming back from the break in just a moment, so please stay tuned. And you're listening again to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. It's tough enough to get a good night's sleep, but it's impossible when you got bed bugs. Goodbye, bed bugs. For 20 years, Earth's Best Natural Pest Management has been knocking down termites, bed bugs, and other pests the natural way. So celebrate their 20 years in business. EarthBest is offering a 20% discount to anyone that calls within the next 20 minutes. Call 800-634-1313 and ask for the famous bed bug free service. That's 800-634-1313. The Lang Eye Care Centers have been providing great eye care all over Central Florida for more than 20 years. And now they have two locations in the Bay Area to serve you, including US 19 in Sunset Point in Clearwater and Bruce B. Downs in Tampa. At Lang Eye Care, they offer the latest in optical, nutritional, medical, and surgical eye care, all performed by board certified 
board-certified optometric physicians and ophthalmologists, and they accept most medical and vision plans. Why sacrifice your eyes for a sale? At Lang Eye Care, you'll find the largest selection of quality name brand eyewear and contact lenses at competitive prices. Learn more. Visit langeyecare.com. Dramatic pauses work great on the radio. The pause is simple yet powerful. You can't help but hang on my every word. Ice cream. Gang busters. Tuda loo. See? Exciting stuff. Now, imagine your business name was on the other end of that extraordinary pause. It could be. With our help. Put in keyword advertise at whnz.com to find out how you can get to the right customers at the right places. The United States of America has a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. So if that's the case, why is everyone so ticked off? Coming December 13th on 1250 Wins WHNZ will be a new show that will solve all the world's problems. Okay, maybe not. But at least you'll be able to talk about what ticks you off with a host that has seen the best of America but continues to fight corruption and ignorance. Tune in and sound off with Kevin Demers every Saturday on 1250 Wins WHNZ starting December 13th. This report is brought to you by Heritage for the Blind. Heritage for the Blind reminds you to be kind. Call 1-800-DONATE-CARS today. Be a star. Donate your car. Call 1-800-446-1234. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center, the interstates are in good shape at the time. We are delay-free, although there is a minor wreck along northbound I-75 near Dr. King Boulevard. That's all off to the left shoulder. Minor slowdowns reported in Pinellas County with a wreck along northbound East Lake Road, a little north of Woodlands Boulevard. Also watch out for a reported crash in St. Pete along 30th Avenue North at Dr. King Street. See a problem on the roadways? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. Twelve fifty winds, weather center forecast. Today's high into the upper 70s. Sunshine with a mix of scattered clouds at times. Uh, got a bit cloudy in the past hour or so. Small chance of rain today, about 10% for some isolated showers. And lows in the mid to low 60s with some fog developing in the overnight. Tomorrow, uh, more of the same. Rain chance up just a little bit, about 20%. Then we'll see a mix of sun and clouds Wednesday through the weekend. Uh, 80 for a high weekend will be a bit cooler. Should see temps more in the mid-70s. Markets today are down with the Dow off 40, NASDAQ red at 57. The S&P index off by 13, Dow to 17,787. Impact Radio, 1250 wins. You're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show with local expert Jamie Maloney. Now, here's Jamie. Hi again, everybody, and welcome back once again to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. If you're finding my show on the air for the first time, I invite you to tune in every Mondays at noon as my show aims to become your information source for the Tampa Bay real estate market. We were just talking with uh, Ronald Weaver, an attorney and land use specialist, uh, about uh, real estate development in the Tampa Bay region. It was a great uh, conversation, and he's got a great report that we'll get up on the TampaBayRadio.com website here uh, by uh, midweek. So I invite you to uh, take a look at that and see what's going on here in the Tampa Bay region, as well as all across Florida as well, down into Miami and Orlando. A lot of a lot of stuff happening in our great state. So I invite you uh, again over to TampaBayRadio.com to check that out. I want to go ahead and bring on my next guests for the uh, show. We're going to start over here with uh, Kenny Gannon, who is a regular contributor to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. Kenny is a loan consultant who has been able to create loan solutions for specific mortgage needs, and he works with a team of underwriters and processors to assist in funding each loan on time, every time at iMortgage. Kenny, how are you doing today? Great. Good afternoon. So uh, you were just uh, talking a little bit off the air. You're saying um, interest rates are down uh, this week, right? Yeah, we just uh, opened up our uh, rates today about a quarter point lower than we ended last week, it looks like. And uh, so what's that mean uh, for the uh, the VA rental program specifically? I know we wanted to discuss that. Uh, is that also uh, coming down? Yes, there's actually no uh, variance on the rate on a 30-year fixed for the VA renovation loan, mm-hmm. which is um, actually a benefit to uh, veterans doing improvements to their home that can get up to $35,000 on the uh, after improvement value of the home up to 100%. Yeah, and I think your firm is one of the only firms doing that product. So for the veterans out there that are listening to the show, they should know that this is a product where they can finance the cost of the repairs into the the acquisition price of the property. And it's not a common thing. It's something I didn't even know about until about a a couple months ago when y'all educated me on this product. Is this something that you're seeing utilized heavily in the marketplace right now by uh, veterans? 
You know, it still hasn't caught on yet. It's uh, it's definitely an under marketed program because there's very few lenders doing it, as you were saying. Uh, but we have joined with the VA to uh, do the product, offer it, and it, it's a phenomenal product. It's it's great on even a purchase or refinance. So if you're in the home and you're looking to do improvements, you can go ahead and do, put a new kitchen in and still lower your rate, refinance it. It's all incorporated into your 30-year fixed rate, no uh, mortgage insurance as well, up to 100%. So it's a great product. Very good. And we're also joined in the studio today uh, with um, Laura. You're also with uh, iMortgage as well, correct? Yes, I am. And you're currently the Southeast Regional Builder Manager for iMortgage, and you also have been a member of the Tampa Bay Builders Association for several years, and you're currently the chairperson for the 2015 Parade of Homes, correct? Yes, that's correct, Jamie. And let me go ahead and bring in Janice Snow, who's also involved uh, in this organization. She holds the position of marketing manager with the award-winning new home builder, Homes by West Bay. Janice is serving as the 2015 president for the Tampa Bay Builders Association and Sales and Marketing Council. And in addition, she has achieved the Master Certified Salesperson designation from the National Association of Home Builders. Well, good afternoon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's talk a little bit more about what the Parade of Homes is and uh, when it is. All right. Um, first of all, the um, Parade of Homes is basically it's a showcase, and we hold it every spring. And what happens is you have a number of um, the builders in our market. And, and just to clarify, our market is more than just the Tampa Bay market. When we do the Parade of Homes last year, in fact, we had six counties included in the market. So we got quite a bit of exposure. Um, and this is in conjunction with the Tampa Bay Builders Association, correct, correct Janice? If you want right. to elaborate a little bit more on what this is and how it plays into uh, with the uh, Tampa Bay Parade of Homes. Sure, I'm, I'm glad to. First of all, I want to say it's really nice to be somewhere with uh, another European accent and also being American. So, <laughs> <laughs> Stella, I'm also an American. Everybody too. loves Stella, and, yes. And ate too much turkey. <laughs> um, but the, the Tampa Bay Builders Association and the Sales and Marketing Council, the Sales and Marketing Council is actually a committee of the Tampa Bay Builders Association. And we really focused our membership to the new home industry. Um, of course, Homes by West Bay is, it plays a major part in the, the Builders Association, both with um, our president being the past, our president of Homes by West Bay being the past president of the Tampa Bay Builders Association. And I am coming in as the 2015 president for the Sales and Marketing Council. So the Sales and Marketing Council, for your audience and your, your listeners today, um, would predominantly be those folks that would be interested um, from our real estate world, that would be interested in learning a little bit more about industry-related issues, um, code, much of the information that Ron Weaver was speaking about in the earlier part of the show. But the Sales and Marketing Council, you see a lot of the stuff that we do through um, our public uh, activities, through some of our charity outreach, and of course our annual Parade of Homes is probably the largest program that we do which encompasses, as Laura says, up to six counties in our area. Over 140 home entries, new model homes will be entered. Um, we will, I think it might be around in the region, about 50 builders, new home builders and communities will be showcased. And it always culminates with one pinnacle home, which is the showcase home. Um, homes by Westway was very proud to be the showcase home builder for this year, 2014, earlier this year. Um, folks may recall the, the beautiful Venezia home that was located out in Fishhawk Ranch, or Fishhawk Ranch, depending mm -hmm. on where you come from. Mm -hmm. And um, Laura will be our chairperson for 2015. And it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity for our Tampa Bay area and residents to really see the growth, the activity, the, the interior design, the, it's, just, it's just a wonderful way for folks to get out and see things beyond their own um, immediate neighborhoods. Now, you're saying also you're involved outside of just uh, Tampa as well. So you've got, you include six counties in the Parade of Homes? Correct. I see um, Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, Pole, Hernando, Citrus is all involved? Yes, and we've actually even had folks from Manatee County. So, um, is that seven? I'm losing count today. <laughs> yeah, I got six, but then if you had that okay, one, then I'll be a seventh, yes. Now, how many different home builders are involved in the uh, parade? It's anywhere between 40 and 50 home builders. Um, many will put in more than one one entry. Um, Homes by West Bay is a fine example. We, we have, we're in 15 communities, so you will see us um, entering um, model homes from all of our communities okay now has the uh, showcase home for the 2015 parade been picked yet 
Yes, indeed, it has. I, I, I think I should really let Laura make that announcement. If that's <laughs> fine with everyone here. Yeah. Yes, and I'm excited because I actually got to go out and see the Showcase Home this past weekend. Um, our 2015 Showcase Home is being provided by Standard Pacific Homes. Um, the Barrington model home features um, over 5,600 square feet of elegant living area with fine finishes, high-tech, and energy conservation features, which has become really um, important and popular with our buyers. Um, this amazing home is located at Estancia, Estancia as Janice would say, <laughs> at Wiregrass. A beautiful, and it's a beautiful new community in Wesley Chapel. So if you haven't seen it, I would certainly encourage you to take a drive up that way. Now, when is the uh, parade kicking off? When does that, and how does that work? Is this for like a week event, or how does it, how does the whole parade work? That's a great question, Jamie. It's um, held every spring, and the time slot that we've scheduled for 2015, we're going to have it run from Saturday, April the 11th, through Sunday, April the 26th. And it's open to the public, um, generally the builder's hours, I think, which are about 10 till 6, that Correct. time of the year. Is that right, Janice? Yes. And so it's a very exciting time. And the nice thing is, um, you know, the parade offers homes that fit everyone's budgets. So, you know, there are communities that are going to be offering affordable homes in the low 100s to the, you know, 2015 showcase home that's priced at over a million dollars. So it's a, a wide range of product for our buyers in the community to take a look at. Now, is the uh, showcase home, is that one already built or is that still in uh, construction phase right now? It's actually already complete. It's already complete. Now, the, the home last year, the Venezia model, I remember uh, checking that out uh, after we uh, promoted the event last year. Did that uh, end up selling uh, during the parade or whatever became of that home? Actually, it's, it's been a strategic decision by Homes by West Bay not to sell that home. In, in previous parades, yes, we always like to sell the parade, the, the showcase home. However, this particular home is uh, located at the Preserve at Fishhawk Ranch, and um, we have made several sales, in fact, another two this weekend. Maybe those interest rates had something to do with it, or Black Friday, <laughs> or just the fact that we're an amazing award, uh, award-winning home builder. But we've been able to use that as an impetus to sell with, throughout the 90-foot and 100-foot home sites in this very exclusive gated neighborhood of Fishhawk Ranch. And so. It's, it's a showcase home for us as well as a, as a, as a company. Yeah, I remember. It's a, it's a stunning home. And I myself used to live in Fishhawk Ranch, bought my first home there back in 2003. And Was it a West Bay? No, it was... No, it wouldn't uh, have been 2003. I, You're all right, Jamie. I, it was a starter <laughs> home. It was just a basic home, but something I'm very proud of, purchasing my first home. I think it was like 23 or 24 at the time. Excellent. And I really got to watch Fishhawk Ranch grow up. Uh, I w- used to work over there on Highway 41 in Gibson 10 at a uh, mm-hmm. fertilizer facility, which is now in uh, Mosaic. And to see that community go from just kind of little development mm-hmm. into the sprawling community that it has become has been amazing to watch. How is development in Fishhawk right now? New Actually, de- excellent, really excellent. Now, Fishhawk would have started, gee, you said 2003, so even yeah. earlier than that. So um, it was uh, started in the 90s. Right yeah. now, I think we're in the fourth phase of maybe the fifth. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, of uh, Fishhawk Ranch um, and the. We actually do build in that neighborhood too, so you will find that will be homes from the low 200s right through to the five and 600s. Uh, it's Fishhawk Ranch, which is actually close to the Mosaic building, mm-hmm. um, affectionately referred to as Fishhawk Ranch West, but I think marketing terms it's not, but we refer, many local people will know that particular area as Fishhawk Ranch West. And it's beautiful, it's coming together beautifully. It's just about a year old. They're coming into, they've opened up their amenities. Um, so Fishhawk Ranch is a wonderful example of master plan communities in the Tampa Bay area that have just thrived. Uh, I, I've been around for long enough to say that I remember West Chase being the number one selling mm-hmm. community in, in the Tampa Bay market or Hillsborough County. And now be able to say that there are many, many uh, communities that have followed suit and grown is a testament to our area. It goes yeah. back to everything you've been talking about this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Fishhawk, uh, known for its schools as well as you know, the amenities and its location. And the roadways are really starting to open up out there. And, you know, I've been out living out or I was out in that area in the early 2000s. And it's 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 like night and day out there mm-hmm. from the development, the way that uh, that took off. And we saw a lot of uh, institutional demand in the area as well over the last few years that helped prop up the area. 
area as well. But you're saying right now uh, you're into a fourth phase in fishhawk right now. I, I believe it. I believe it is. I mean, um, the master plan there is is quite tremendous, and fishhawk ranch will be on the map for for a long time. Um, the beauty of fishhawk and uh, many other communities like that is that you can start in that 2003 purchase mm-hmm. of that starter yeah. home and work your way all the way up. And then maybe stay there and work you all the way down. So um, I think that's the beauty of communities like that that really have made a difference to um, the Tampa Bay market, our relocation market, our military that are coming in. Um, Location wise, it, it, it really has a tremendous amount to offer. Very nice. Uh, stay tuned. We've got to take a quick break, but, but coming back from the break, we're going to talk a little bit more with uh, Janice, Laura, and uh, Kenny about uh, the Parade of Homes. And again, you're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Winds, WHNZ. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage want you to experience the thrill of one-day underwriting and the comfort in knowing your loans will be clear to close in record time. While a competition looks to a lost closing date, Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage focus on their 12-day clear to close. They do this by utilizing their world-class operations staff to underwrite your loan within six hours, process your loan in 12 days, and have your loan closed in time. Underwritten in six hours, cleared to close in 12 days. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. iMortgage Tampa appreciates and supports all veterans and their families. And as a thank you for your service, they have some unique products specifically for veterans. These programs include 100% cash out loans, renovation loans, and also a VA interest rate reduction loan. Please call them today at 813-523-4908. Again, that's 813-523-4908. Or online, search for iMortgage Tampa. iMortgage NMLS 174457. Equal housing opportunity lender programs and eligibility subject to programs and guidelines in the market for a reverse mortgage contact access reverse a local company with personalized service in the bay area call them at 727-347-0305 or visit accessreverse.com for a no cost no obligation consultation They'll come to your home and speak with you about the best options for your reverse mortgage. Plus, they offer the lowest closing costs. Don't just get a reverse mortgage. Get the right reverse mortgage with Access Reverse. Visit accessreverse.com. NMLS number 4566. You're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show with local expert Jamie Maloney. Now, here's Jamie. Welcome back to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ take a quick moment invite you all over to my website again tampabayradio.com where you can see all of my listings and pre-listed properties as well as all the past shows of the jamie maloney real estate show via the show info tab again just head over to tampabayradio.com i want to come back over to uh, laura kennedy who is the uh, 2015 chairperson for the uh, parade of homes how is i mortgage involved with the uh, parade this year well, um, basically, it kind of came about like this. You know, builders, have they've always been very supportive of me over the years and, you know, given me the opportunity to provide financing for their buyers. So when Janice came to me and, <laughs> and the Sales and Marketing Council and, you know, asked if I could invest my time and energy into um, chairing the parade, I, I was happy to. You know, I felt like it's, you know, my opportunity to give back to the industry, you know, by investing, you know, my time and and, and a few gray hairs to help out. <laughs> and, and great insights. It's really nice to see, um, if I might be rude to interrupt, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Um, in, in the past, many of the Parade of Homes chairs have been builder members. And so it's really nice to see one of our associate members take on this role because it just gives a new insight to the, the management. It's, it's a pretty mammoth task. And so we, we really are very grateful that Laura and, and the support of iMortgage um, are allowing Laura to grow within within the role as well as us as a an association give 
a, an amazing program to the public. Now, and I know one of the uh, selling points that uh, iMortgage promotes, you know, they have, you know, uh, the underwriting guidelines are not as strict as uh, the major banks and, uh, you know, uh, the energy efficiency that these homes, you know, have and make, you know, can lower the payments, you know, for the uh, utilities, things like that. You know, it makes home ownership more attainable these days versus, you know, years past. Tell us a little bit more about, you know, the, the, the programs and some of the uh, ways that you can get, uh, you know, first time buyers into these homes. Yeah, I think that's one. <clears throat> excuse me. Mm-hmm. I, I think that that's one of the biggest contributors that I mortgage could do is for new home buyers right now. Loosened up the guidelines. We're a direct Fannie Mae, uh, Freddie Mac lender, mm-hmm. so uh, we we just uh, we don't have many overlays, if any, and uh, that that creates a, a really um, good environment for for people to get out of a rental and get into home ownership. And a lot of times, it's even uh, less money, right, Laura? Yeah, it is. And you know, really between the lower rates, as you mentioned earlier. And and the slight, ever so slightly relaxing um, Mm -hmm. guidelines that Mm -hmm. Jamie mentioned. And really when you pair that up with the energy efficient features of these new homes, I mean, you're talking, you're saving hundreds on your power bills every year. That alone, you know, makes makes payments for a new home very affordable and very attainable, no matter what your budget is. And iMortgage, you're fairly new into the Tampa Bay marketplace, but it's actually a large brand, correct? Tell us a little bit more about the history of iMortgage and the background. Absolutely. Uh, we started in 99 out on the uh, West Coast in California, and we're based out of uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And we're, we're a builder-based uh, lender, actually. So that goes really well with the, um, the growth that we have in the area and, you know, the, uh, the beautiful West Bay homes. We've been able to help them out. And, you know, it's just, uh, it, it starts with how we were built 15 years ago mm-hmm. as a builder-based lender. So it, it goes really well with that. And even if you're looking to just refinance, lower your rate, lower your payment, or just get into a new home, we, we also provide that very well. Yeah, and if you want to get in touch uh, with Kenny, he comes highly recommended here by the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. Just head over to tampabayradio.com, click on the uh, Expert Contributors tab, and you can find uh, Kenny, or just shoot me a quick email, jamie at tampabayradio.com. Happy to put you in touch with him and uh, you know, a variety of other uh, contributors and other uh, show partners that I've worked with in the past. I want to head back over to uh, Janice uh, here for a moment, who's the uh, marketing manager for Homes by West Bay. Tell us a little bit more about some of the uh, attributes uh, that Homes by West Bay puts into their homes. Do we have enough time? <laughs> um, very proud to be part of Homes by West Bay. We, uh, we, we're a little bit of cut above the rest. We, we talk about people dreaming about a someday home. Someday I will have that wonderful kitchen or that outdoor living or that large bonus room. And, and really Homes by West Bay is really able to, to provide that dream um, to become a reality. Uh, we are a little bit, uh, a little different from most folks. We range from 1,674 square foot, feet right through to 6,600. We, you can find our homes in master plan communities such as Fishhawk Ranch, Lake Shore Ranch, Connaughton, Union Park, uh, Waterleaf. I'm sure I've forgotten one. Watergrass, mm-hmm. um, and as well as some smaller communities that we've developed in Forest Glen. Um, we we um, are about to start something in the Brandon area called Lacalina that will be breaking ground in the early part of later later part of this year. We've only got a few weeks left, but we'll be breaking ground, and um, sales will be starting there in March of next year. So, for our company, we're, we're a mere five-year-old company. We we started five years ago with 68 home closings and and this year we're close to 260 and and growing now so, is home is homes by west bay offer any special financing options uh, for buyers on their homes or promotions these women? very much so we're actually um we're actually very focused to making sure that the pricing of our homes and our inventory homes are really right for our buyers and we found us uh, strategically this year we've been extremely successful in doing that However, we always allow people, there are certain dollar amounts depending on which community you might be in, that you can make your dreams come true. The choices are endless. So we have a fabulous design center in the Riverview area right by our corporate office. And many folks can range from 15000 up to 30, 30, twenty-five to $30,000 depending on the community to be able to use as, as, they, as they wish to. And, and it's up for us to create, create that home for you. Um, as for financing, we are... Um, we are partnering with iMortgage as one of our preferred lenders. And so another reason, see, so it's, a, it's, it's, it's an incestuous uh, industry that we're in, I guess. <laughs> uh, we all know each other from somewhere and our paths do cross, but you know, we're all vested in the Tampa Bay area. And I think that's the most important thing that we can, we can offer um, our buyers is that the owners of our company live, we, all, we live in our communities that we speak of. And um, you know, we are a Tampa Bay based company. 
and privately owned so we can make decisions mm-hmm. <laughs> not on every uh, on every floor plan but pretty much most of the floor plans in, in many of the communities we we can go to the owner of the company and and, and see what what we can do to to meet the needs of our buyers and let's talk a little bit more uh, we've got a few minutes left here about the uh, parade of homes sure. how involved is homes by west bay uh in this year's parade of homes and also where can uh, listeners get some more information on the parade of homes as well sure. um well of course homes by west bay will always have a big investment we're in 15 communities in the area so uh, last year i think we had 17 entries in addition to our showcase home um i haven't looked at our entries yet <laughs> um but i can assure laura that she will be having entries from the homes by west bay family of homes and communities uh in addition to that my company support me in volunteering my time to the sales and marketing council so and the tampa bay builders association so it's very imp- we're vested with with um Voluntold hours as well as volunteering. Never hours. heard that term before, but I always learn something here on my show every week. So very good. And, so. and Laura, I'll pass back over to Laura to explain a little bit more about how the public and, and your your listeners can can hear learn yeah. more about the parade. Wonderful. Well, there's a couple of ways. First of all, you can actually still take a look at the 2014 parade entries. Um, Our website is up all year long, and the entries will change once we have the new entries loaded, and that should be about March of next year. But the website that you want to go to is www.tampabayparadeofhomes.com. All the words are spelled normal, tampabayparadeofhomes.com. But you can take a look there at last year's entries. It's very exciting. Um, and then also, um, a couple of weeks before the parade, our um, media partner, uh, Tampa Bay Times, will include in their um, newspaper a magazine which shows all of the entries in print. It's a beautiful color um, tabloid, we call it. And it has a map as well as the price points and every, and you know from all of our builders. And it also has advertising from a lot of our industry um, affiliates and associates. So we really appreciate their partnership with this parade. We couldn't do it without them. Now, how many uh, homes does a typical builder put into these uh, into the into the parade? Is there a limit on how many homes they can do, or do they? Well, do some builders want to put every single home they have into the parade. <laughs> well, absolutely, there's no limit to the entries that they can put in. They can, Janice, correct? <laughs> it really is. There's a few criteria that I think the um, it has to be a, a model home, no long, no more than three years old. Um, I don't think that's. It about has the to be criteria. complete. It has to be complete. Um, for judging, actually, um, we, we are, our homes are judged by industry peers throughout the country. Um, and um, actually, I take that back. Laura is correct. In order to be um, open to the public, it does need to be a completed home. Well, definitely uh, some great information here. We're heading in. Uh, got about a minute left here. So I want to thank you all very much uh, for uh, coming on the show. Uh, great information, as always. And uh, thank you very much uh, for being in the studio today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you all very much. And if you're uh, just tuning in, you're listening here to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. We are just talking with uh, Kenny Gannon, who loan officer with iMortgage and regular contributor, along with Laura Kennedy and Janice Snow. Laura is the uh, 2015 chairperson for the uh, Parade of Homes, an annual event that showcases uh, home builders' homes here in the uh, Tampa Bay region. And Janice Snow, who is the marketing manager for Homes by West Bay. I invite you over to my website again, tampabayradio.com, and you can find my show each and every Mondays at noon here on 1250 Winds WHNZ. I hope everybody has a uh, great week after this uh, shortened week from Thanksgiving, and I'll see you all back here next Monday at noon on the Jimmy Maloney Real Estate Show. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during